Now, you know very well <coughs> that cognitive dysfunctions in diabetes have really acquired a great deal of proportion, particularly to clinicians like us, because uh, there are many things which come to the light when the patient has got depression, dementia, delirium, denial, diabulimia, they all contribute to a great deal of uncontrolled diabetes. Next slide. You also realize that diabetes, next slide. Yeah, diabetes and mental health in the 17th century, cause of diabetes was a long sorrow and other depression. As early as 17th century. Diabetes is a disease which often shows itself in families. Insanity prevails in the pathology of mind. That means people realize in that time also, there is something wrong with this fellow's brain. He is not normal. He may have a high sugar, but he is certainly not normal. And that's a very important thing. Next slide, please. Diabetes and mental health is a kind of a bi-directional association. Diabetes worsens psychiatric disorder. Psychiatric disorder worsens diabetes. So each worsens each. Psychological stress may follow screening of diabetes and diabetes is first identified. The reaction of people is so variable. Believe me, it all depends on the education of the patient. It all depends on your mental attitude. It all depends on number of people who have died of diabetes-related complication in the family and the type of internet education that they get and phobia that the Google creates, which all bring the patient to our clinics. So psychological stress may be enormous. That starts from screening of diabetes till the time the diabetes is first identified. Next slide, please. Next slide, yeah. Diabetes and mental health 30% of diabetes have psychological and mental issues. 30%, very large number. Please remember that. And we normally miss it because in our busy practice, we say, nah, nah, kuch hota hai. I said, don't worry. But the patient is trying to tell you so many things that we ought to write down. And we must, I always tell my students, my dear friends, now you, I know you people are under a different era. You are, have a different uh, priorities. You have a loan to pay. You have capitation fees for your children. You ought to have a high-end car. Therefore, you have to see 100 patients every day. But that is not right. I always tell, if a new patient is taken an appointment, you give new appointments only two days a week and see them exclusively. And each patient, not only clinical examination, but history taking and taking notes of all these issues for 45 minutes per patient. Now, if you see that way, that in four and a half hours, you can see at the most 10 patients, 12 patients. That's all. That's all you can do a full justice. I'm not asking you to see them for follow-up. Follow-up, you may ask certain questions. But a new patient, devote enough time. Next slide, please. Now, psychological factors in diabetes. Acceptance of diagnosis. Either the patient denies or is not very certain. A lab tick nahi hai. Ye hai hai ka hai report aisa aata hai. All kinds of things they tell. We want to go to other lab. Then the fear of complication. Bapre. Mera dada ka pair kata tha. Mera maa ka aap gaya. Fear of complications. Unwanted. Worst is the fear of hypoglycemia. But doctor, tum dawa de ta thik hai. Lekin dawa samal ke de na. Bhari dawa mat deo. One episode of hypoglycemia in the family, the family is completely devastated. And most is adherence. First, both That whole thing subsides. So other priorities take over. Festivals. India is a great country. 365 days, 265 days of festival. Christian Christmas celebrate Bakrit Kile Bakarakate or Hindu Dharma to Pura Pul Shawan Shawan is full of festivals, Ekadashi, Goinda, Ganpati. And there is no limit. <coughs> and under the banner of 
गॉड क्या बोलेगा गॉड को ये गॉड के लिए अरे गॉड गॉड के लिए हमारे एकादशी करते हैं एकादशी दुप्पट खाशी ऑन द डे ऑफ एकादशी दे डबल कैलरीज वाई बिकॉज गॉड एज टोल्ड यू ऑल दिस इज हैज टू चेंज एंड देवर एडियरेंस टू डाइट एंड लाइफ स्टाइल मैनेजमेंट मस्ट बी अ मैटर ऑफ परमानेंसी एंड नॉट एज अ मैटर ऑफ एक्सीडेंट नेक्स्ट लाइट प्लीज you realize psychiatric disease is an independent condition a course of diabetes complicated by emergence of psychiatric disorder psychiatric disorder also can be independent of diabetes but the overlap is astonishing and overlap you see it in day to day practice next slide next slide yeah Now, what are the implications of co-occurrence of diabetes and psychiatric disorder? Impaired quality of life, as it is quality of life in a diabetic, like I just now heard after about availability of insulin. He presented a fantastic data of a really scholarly man and telling that how many people have access to insulin, how many people have access to monitoring, how many people have access to. care of their personal problems like skin feet eyes so impaired quality of life as it is you are continuously surrounded by a medical world all the time 24 hours you don't think anything else but a time uthne ka hai a time khana khane ka hai a time ye karne ka hai a time my whole life pura din ka tumhara dinacharya dekhega it is revolving around diabetes and diabetes and diabetes aur usme education activities same is then multiple organization give multiple fatwas multiple guidelines in one year there are 10 guidelines when the association met i get a palpitation when they come down with some different hbnc targets and people are completely confused therefore the poor treatments and therefore poor glycemic control is a outcome of too much knowledge too much education too much of harping too much of media cover too many programs too many guidelines so increased risk of diabetes related complication and premature mortality is another problem which is neglected and diabetes associated problem like hypertension heart disease neuropathy also needs serious attention and therefore the cost is very high next slide please next slide yeah the diagnosis of psychiatric disorder among patients with diabetes need for awareness among physicians about the possible comorbid psychiatric disorder must keep that in mind biggest challenge low rates of detection up to 45% of the cases of mental disorder and severe psychological stress go undetected or we know the two things go undetected i am sorry to the and my colleagues as well as my students are aware of my this thinking you don't pay any attention you don't diagnose because you don't think about it one is anemia second is hypothyroidism sub clinical hypothyroidism you please remember hypothyroidism is a third common condition after obesity and diabetes often missed and a patient with certain signs symptoms of hypothyroidism if female they are considered neurotic psychiatric sasu ka jamta nahi hai husband ka jamta nahi hai given antidepressant unnecessarily so overlooking associated condition hypertension is not given importance <coughs> i always tell people if the patient has got hbo1c of 7.5 but a systolic hypertension of 160 run after that 160 hypertension <coughs> it's a bigger risk factor then 7.5 hbo1c so frequent monitoring of bp ambulatory monitoring all these things should be a matter of routine next slide please next slide <clears throat> now this is something very important severe mental illness and type 2 diabetes what is the pathophysiology common antecedents genetic fetal development which causes intra uterine inflammation neuroendocrine dysfunction poor diet poverty and deprivation they all result into severe mental illness right from childhood 
कंपटीशन पहला आएगा नहीं तो मर जाएगा डॉक्टर नहीं होएगा तो मेडिकल रिप्रेजेंट बनेगा ऑल दिस इज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स व्हिच आर टॉट बाय मदर एंड ऑल द थिंग्स व्हिच आर टॉट बाय द फादर हु वाज नेवर हिमसेल्फ एजुकेटेड बट ही वांट्स हिज चिल्ड्रन टू बी हाईली एजुकेटेड अंडर ट्रिमेंडस स्ट्रेस सो दैट पुअर फिजिकल एक्टिविटी खेलने का नहीं कूदने का नहीं पढ़ाई करो टीवी देख रहा हूं वो पहले टीवी बंद करो स्टॉप द ब्लडी टीवी एंड ऑल दिस मीडिया कवर गिव देम मोर प्ले ग्राउंड्स गिव देम एजुकेशनल मार्क्स इन स्पोर्ट्स स्मोकिंग इज अनदर बिग रिस्क फैक्टर व्हील रिजल्ट्स इनटू ओबेसिटी एंड टाइप टू डायबिटीज नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज सो यू सी दैट दिस इज लाइक एन अजगर व्हिच इज मेकिंग turns on your body of a patient so comorbidity <coughs> medication for hypertension obesity and dyslipidemia genetic preposes medi medi <coughs> treating mechanism either can cause microvascular disease macrovascular disease hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia all can cause to brain pathology the vascular mixed and ultimately it will result in alzheimer's disease what is alzheimer's disease alzheimer's disease is nothing but a type 3 diabetes the chemistry in the brain is screwed up because of various reasons next slide please now this is just to show you various problems related to alzheimer's disease and hyperglycemia relationship which causing neuronal death diabetes accelerates alzheimer's pathology now people use alzheimer's disease rather too loosely because it's a very dignified rog apan kisko bolenge ki ye pagal ho gaya hai ye head ache pe hai isko akal nahi hai buddhu hai not very respectable but you say alzheimer's disease wo usko bolo for like almost is owning a mercedes car samjhe ki nahi so alzheimer's disease is a pre senile dementia get it very clear if you are showing signs of dementia particularly loss of memory loss of recent memory at the age of 40 45 not at the age of 80 you cannot call atherosclerotic dementia of the brain as a alzheimer's disease alzheimer's disease is a pre senile dementia next slide please five d's of diabetes next slide depression and diabetes share a bidirectional causal association depression postulated to play a causal role in emergence of diabetes emergency of diabetes depression the repetition next slide which increases the cause <coughs> affects 18 year old two times greater risk of depression in patient with diabetes type 1 diabetes especially at risk poor physical and mental health outcomes and premature mortality next slide now you will read the comorbidity depression and diabetes poor self care poor glycemic control more long term complication decrease quality of life increase unemployment and work disability and absenteeism increase health care use and expenditure you understand how the person goes downhill with this single depression in diabetes next slide please <coughs> depression can be successfully treated in person with diabetes psychotherapy antidepressant moderate effect on depression but good diabetes control good glycemic control without hypoglycemia is a better outcome managing depression diabetes and depression is a very difficult art <coughs> i'll give one example <clears throat> i get a lot of patients who are seen by stalwarts and in, in bombay we don't mind one patient going to other i got some patients who got 16 doctors files i am the seventh 17 so they show all the previous doctors have treated him well <clears throat> there is nothing wrong with pharmacotherapy nothing wrong with insulin doses but his diabetes is not under control hbo is not under control he is not happy 
<coughs> Why is it not happy? The reason is, I give the same medicine, I give the same diet, only thing I talk to that patient for 20 minutes. In that 20 minutes, when I talk to the patient, the patients, most intellectual patients are come to me. In fact, many of the patients come to me and actually they are coming to me to examine whether I am sufficiently knowledge. Then they, they are basing the doctor knowledge. But he is saying this based on his knowledge. Huh? Now I'm a bloody professor 44 years huh? research in this. But this man is judging my knowledge based on his knowledge. But he's happy. Sara doctor. Bandela bhi chhe. Ane ane kai andar dilchas bhi chhe. Aam maala six senses treat kare chhe. That is the connection between me and my patient which is built on faith. And the patient start feeling better. The reason is you have to create these waves and this can come from counseling and talking nicely to understand his problem. And the patient should feel that this doctor, itna doctor ho gaya, this fellow will get me out of all the problems. That is the most important aspect of the therapy. Next slide, please. <clears throat> what is the dementia diabetes link mechanism? Not known, but high sugar and insulin both can harm. Either the high sugar or high dose of insulin can create problems. Next slide, please. Now, Reducing risk of diabetes and dementia. What's good for your heart is good for your brain. Simple. The precautions that you take to see that your heart is alright, all the do's and don'ts, they are equally good for your brain. Get very clear. Eat healthy diet rich in vitamin D, folate B6 and B12. Exercise regularly. There is nothing more rewarding than physical fitness and exercise. I'll give one example. People who do vigorous exercise daily at least for 40 minutes, they are different. They look different. They don't get bowed down with the problem. Are COVID ho gaya? Are petrol ka bhaar bhaar gaya? Are meri wife meri ko chhod ke gai? Nothing bothers them. Means wife living is a serious matter, but the point is, they don't get bowed down with the ordinary stresses of life. They face it. This is because body produces endogenous hormones which gives you a feeling of well-being known as beta endorphins. People who exercise regularly, they get hooked to exercise. They get addicted. If they don't do exercise, they will not feel normal. The normalcy is because of high level of endorphins which treats all your intrinsic depression. So stay socially active and challenge yourself daily. Remain socially active. You come across a lot of idiots in your life. A lot of. Means I, unfortunately, my wife say ki tumhara itna khaskela hai ki 90% people who you feel are idiots because they don't come anywhere closer to you. But how is that? You are surrounded by them and you seem to be enjoying it. I said try to enjoy idiots. Try to enjoy who are stupid. Try to enjoy people who are illogical. Try to people who talk nonsense. Sit down and enjoy it. Life is beautiful. Otherwise, you keep on finding particularly two good, brilliant colleagues. This gentleman sitting here in uh, Ahmedabad, his, I found his lecture very, very impressive. You know? And we are in a meeting you have four or five very interesting doctors. Very, I mean, I'm surrounded by all these guys. You sit with them. You don't get complex. You try to see that this man is so big. What is this? What can I acquire at my stage? I am not 100% perfect. Every single meeting is a learning experience. And you can learn from your junior colleagues also. And you can learn from your senior colleagues also. So, be social active and challenge yourself. I should be able to do it. Next slide, please. <coughs> now, delirium is very bad. 
manifestation hypoglycemic episodes can be look as a delirium hypoglycemia can mimic any neurological problem any right from motor neuron to speech defect to cognizance affects multiple so many times hypoglycemic people are thought to be drunk on the road and locked up in uh, uh, police custody thinking that the daru pika dhamal ka tha purely hypoglycemic next slide please so hypoglycemic delirium has to be and therefore delirium and diabetes can preserve pre present a hypoactive or hyperactive delirium other the patient dull lagi or active suddenly talking dan 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 something wrong hyperactivity patient excited talking irrelevantly around and continuously aimlessly one example you put on tv and go on a proper channel and you see the anchors how they talk then you see some of the politicians who are trying to fight a battle see they fit into this hyperactivity delirium living example common features disorientation confusion and alter solution samajhta nahi main kidhar aaya hu kya hai kidhar hai kaise jaane ka they make a mistake of coming back to home means they forget the road to back home very common other clinical features perpetual disturbances such as <clears throat> sleep walk cycle disturbances of sleep most important not able to fall asleep and not able to have a sound sleep they can have obstructive sleep apnea that also has to be ruled out next slide now management early identification of delirium means of treatment of correction of underlying cause and supportive care potent low dose dopamine antagonist could be used but of course under neurological supervision next slide denial after your first diagnosis the normal is minimize the <coughs> disease goes on for a long time your self care is deprived and you try to hide yourself you hide hide from the fact that you are a diabetic denial nahi nahi mere ko haltu hai doctor ko dhanda nahi hai khali ko naya naya kaise mangta hai iske liye karta hai no ye kuch nahi re mere daddy ko bhi tha denial denial and denial big problem next slide and it could be very dangerous next slide the how do you spot denial denial has a few catch phrases if you hear yourself thinking or saying them you are avoiding some part of your diabetes care one bite one hurt very common are ek kuch nahi ek itna khaya kuch nahi hota ek chhota pek piya no problem denial you are not supposed to do it but you say nothing happens this sore will heal by itself don't say i have seen my wounds heal very fast huh? don't worry well it wound on the hand and wound on the leg there is not a difference you know I'm in a meeting. I'll call you later. My diabetes isn't serious. I only have to take some precautions, and I'm fine. These are all excuses you see when the patient comes to you, and I don't have time to do it. That is the worst thing, doctor. I'm a sugar sadi thing, so I. But this week I'm very busy. But what am I doing? This week I'm very busy. No, one party is here, then there is, then they go shopping. There is priority. Huh? Priority should be health. But the priority is. till it is very late next slide now dibulimia is again big problem regular changes in weight awkwardness over questions about diabetes and control of or injection avoiding clinic appointments having a high hb1c skipping injections which cause hyperglycemia low sodium potassium increased appetite especially for sugar craving what they call it next slide now how does the dibulimia affect the body multiple manipulating and omitting insulin from body can be serious and dangerous next slide it can affect practically every system in the body the both type one type have reduced performance on numerous cognitive functions now this is the crust sum total of my talk next slide please now what exactly happens people diabetes should receive medical care from the team 
including physician, nurse practitioner, physician's assistant, pharmacist, mental health professional, which is a luxury actually, a routinely screen for psychological problems such as depression, related distress, anxiety, eating disorder, and cognitive impairment. Now, what are the other cognitive impairments you see? Next slide. Next slide. Most common cognitive affecting type 1 diabetics is slowing of information processing speed. Now, understand what is this? Information processing speed in a child. When the teacher teaches something, that speed of knowledge which comes to him has to be processed. Now, if that speed is slow, you call child is not doing well in study, you call it, it thoda slow. Hai. The slowness in the processing speed, worsening psychomotor efficiency and deficit in motor speed. So they are not only slow in understanding, but they are slow in movement. If there are PhDs there, so he will lift up like this, like that. Ask him to write, he will take a pen and write it slowly. So this slowness is the first thing we should raise the suspicion that his processing time is short and he has an early cognitive dysfunction. Next slide. Poor vocabulary and general intelligence. Now poor vocabulary, it all depends on your inputs. Now <clears throat> vocabulary improves by frequent listening to good lectures and trying to remember what the teacher has said. He has used this word. This is a new word. So I write it down. Writing makes a perfect man. You write it down, close the book, try to remember what that book is. Again, use it. And the best way to remember it, to teach it to other students. The best way to remember anything is to teach it again. And that is the way the vocabulary is constructed. Now, vocabulary can be constructed by one thing, which is people might say that I'm a bias. I'm not a bias, but I'm just telling you something about genetics. We are all Dashagranthi Brahmans. Dashagranthi Brahmans means by the time we undergo a sacred thread ceremony, 10 books of good books are learned by heart by all the members of my family. Without understanding a single word, what we have learned by heart, by sheer discipline and by fear of grandfather and teacher, we just learned it by heart. And we thought, what the hell we are learning this Sanskrit shloka and why, what is this? It's not going to be used. But that develops an ability for your brain to collect the material and absorb it in a form of protein, which is a permanent protein. What I learned in my childhood, I still know it by heart. Now I know the meaning of it. Now I understood the Sanskrit Subhashita. But the fact that learning by heart is another process which can cut short your cognitive dysfunction. And also improve your motor and sensory as well as memory. After all, what is memory? Memory is a processed information stored in your frontal brain, which should be available. Memory, that material should come back to you in form of verbal, written, speech. These are all functions of cognitive dysfunctions. Next slide, please. Next slide. The cognitive performance in type 1 improvement is seen in motor speed, verbal and IQ score memory and academic achievements while cognitive function worsens and the other diabetic complications, males are affected more than females. The moment the child's blood sugar is well controlled, his nutrition is good, he sleeps well, he is given a lot of inputs, his performance in the school improves. Today, you know one thing, the parents can do anything to improve the performance of a child because the whole competitive life is ahead, all the priority you know, three-fourths of the young couple's income goes in educating their children and giving them good marks. The good marks can be achieved if the person's 
diabetes is well controlled not too much control not too many fluctuations not too many variations glycemic but a stable state of a hba1c which improve his cholesterol performance which is very important next slide please <coughs> भूल गए fluency in speech and attention now this is something fluency of speech is by repeating your ability to speak all doctors who good give good speak are good speakers the fluency is not affected politicians their their capital is speech the main investment of a politician is a good speech ability to talk that can be achieved by good glycemic control next slide hb1c more than 7% four fold increase in developing cognitive impairment you understand direct relationship of cognitive dysfunction next slide igt also without diabetes is also a risk factor for cognitive dysfunction impaired glucose tolerance next slide and this is in some total what i am trying to tell you insulin resistance hyperglycemia microvascular disease absence of apo4 ll hyperglycemia absence of c peptide all result into cognitive dysfunctions next slide please so modalities for reassessment of cognitive dysfunction dr boraske does not need modality one one to one contact ye kitne pani mein hai इसका अक्टल कितना है इसका क्या होने वाला है ये आई कैन प्रोडिक्ट इन एग्जैक्टली ट्वेंटी मिनट इंटरव्यू दो स्किल्स हैव डेवलप्ड आमने के आदमी के मन में क्या है ये मैं पहचान सकता हूं बिकॉज ऑफ माई कमिटमेंट एंड एसोसिएशन विद दिस पीपल एंड दे फॉर रोल ऑफ इंश्योर रेजिस्टेंस इनिशियली वी थॉट डेट ब्रेन इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इंश्योर इंश्योर एक्शन however the pet scan shows significant increase in brain glucose metabolism in setting of hyperinsulin may insulins which may play a role in alzheimer's disease so we all come from dementia distress denial to various cognitive dysfunction and land up with alzheimer's disease if you want to overcome alzheimer's disease you have to drink milk you have to do exercise you have to sleep 8 hours you have to see that unwanted information is not going into your brain so stop seeing tv stop seeing serials which are stupid do intelligent things try to learn your religious books by heart i'm not saying only gita or anything what are you reading quran you are reading bible do it religiously there is a lot of meaning in that develop your spiritual powers and there will be no alzheimer's disease for you thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to express my feelings about cognitive dysfunctions in diabetes thank you